Hello, and welcome back to King's Quest II Let's Play. When we last left Graham, he was standing in front of a rather rickety-looking old bridge. Hmm. Doesn't look very safe, does it? Well, what the heck. We can always reload if we fall, and might as well take the chance, right? Hey, look, I even got a point. How about that? Hmm, awesome. And, yeah, right there. There's one of the places where you got to be careful. Because if you're not, you'll fall right off the cliff. It's kind of bad game design, in my opinion, but I suppose you always got to be on your toes in adventure games anyway, so. Oh, goodness. A little dwarf. Ha! Ha! Fail. He's on the other side of the chasm. Awesome. Which is fine, because my uh, magic spell would have protected me anyway. But, the little dwarf appearing, um, just like he did in King's Quest 1, if he catches you, he steals your stuff. Unless, like I said, I have the magic spell on, which I do. So, ha, huh, that is a fail. I've never had that happen before. That's pretty funny, actually. All right, well, continuing on. Here we have a clearing with a door in the middle of nowhere. That's odd. Nothing behind it. Hmm. Oh, it's a magical door. Oh, well. Because if you see the door standing out in the middle of the clearing on the side of a cliff, I'd automatically assume that it's magical. And that, and that's going to lead me to my heart's desire. I mean, that's... Everyone knows that. Right? Right. Door is locked. Well, I can at least read what's on it. Make a splash. Okay, thanks for that. Not helpful at all. Well, I suppose it's a little helpful. It means I gotta find some water or something. Alright, let's head back. There's nothing more to see over there. Just some dead ends and stuff like that. And I got another point for crossing the bridge again. That's kind of awesome. Alright. Generic description. Well, here we've got a little... Uh-oh. Dwarf. Here we can see my magic spell at work. Come on. Come on. Touch me. I dare you. Ha. Again. Fail. But, um, we have a door. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. No response. Well, you know, no one's home. Might as well break in and see what I can steal, uh, borrow for my, uh, <coughs> adventure. Right, borrow. Because kings don't steal. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Alright, what have we here? The underground home of the little dwarf. I guess the caps on the table gave it away? I don't know. Mmm, chicken soup. Ow. Oh, okay. Ha, <laughs> that was kind of funny. Let's see what's in here. Dwarf probably stole it, so... Not the chest, but the earrings. Actually, he probably stole the chest, too. Oh, wait. What, in the, what am I trying to do? Ah. Awesome. Now, I don't know if it's in this version or in another version of the game um, but if you stay long enough because there was a remake by um, 
AGD Interactive. If you stay long enough in the dwarf's house, the dwarf actually comes by and you can hide in the chest to uh, get away from him. But that might only be in the remake. I, I don't remember. Alright, so let's go ahead and save. Okay. Continuing west. Alright, what do I have? Earrings, chicken soup. Oh, basket. I still have the basket. I get that back to Little Red Riding Hood. Ah, while well, I'm here. Chicken soup is good for sick people, so I figure might as well give it to grandma. Ah, there we go. Oh, look into the bed. Okay. Red ruby ring and a black cloak. Awesome. <laughs> I'm glad. All right. So, let's see if we can find Little Red Riding Hood. Give her a basket back. She should appear around here somewhere. Hmm. I don't usually have much trouble finding her. Usually I run into her all over the place. Especially around Grandma's house. Oh, that looks nasty. Okay, we're gonna stay away from that. Ugh. This is a nice stinking lake and a nice pretty looking lake. Alright, let's see if she appears here. Which she often does. I'm hoping she does, because I really don't want to wander around looking for her for too long. Alright then. Come on, where are you? one of the easter eggs in King's Quest 2. You enter from the bottom of the screen, you find this cave, and the Batmobile pops out of it. Pure awesome. Ugh. So, sometimes I just... It, these things are great! Just these little, these little points in the game that... Uh oh. Make it all worthwhile. Hag Hagatha. Well, you know... Fortunately, I'm protected by a magic spell. Ha <laughs> ha. Hagatha fail. Alright, seriously though, this... I need to find Little Red Riding Hood. I need you, girl. Come on, where are you? Alright, I'm gonna pause the video here and look around until I find Little Red Riding Hood, and then we will come back and continue. So, uh, hang on one second. Alright, so we finally found Little Red Riding Hood. Never had so much trouble finding her before. Honestly, she's usually running around everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but especially around this screen and the screen to the other side of the house. Get over here, you... To the other side of the house. Um, she's usually around quite a bit. Awesome. Flowers. Ah, the g whoa, whoa, no! You get no response from the gur. Oh, take the goodies! I could have done that. Jeez. All right. Well, you have fun with that. We're going to continue on an adventure. Look at her skipping. This is awesome. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright. 
So, here we are back at the beach, and we're going to take a little trip down swim, or down, down the beach, and, uh, and see what we find. Can't walk there, it's kind of annoying. You know, I don't know, I've never particularly found mermaids attractive. I don't know why they're supposed to be attractive. Maybe it's because they're naked on the top half or something. I, I don't know. Thank goodness for the hair, though, right? But, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I just never, it, it's the tail. The tail just, eh, ugh. I prefer my girls with legs. Thank you very much. But, uh, yeah, so... We're just gonna keep going here. A little clamshell. Hmm. Oh, hey, bracelet. Helps to be able to spell. All right. Empty. Yeah. Wonderful. Continuing on. Nothing to see here. White sand of the beach. Funny, because it's yellow, but whatever. <laughs> oh, hey, what's this? A rusty trident. Hmm. Trident, mermaid. Hmm. Let's see if we can find that mermaid again. She should still be in the same spot. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. Crap. Um. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, well. This is, um, embarrassing. <laughs> um. I'm almost out of time. So, <laughs> we're going to end this Let's Play right here. And, uh, yeah, that, I didn't think that was going to happen. Um, I'll, uh, <laughs> one of the, one of the weird things, or I guess it's not weird, it's, you know, it's just part of the game. Um, but one of the things about King's Quest, the King's Quest series, is that there are several dead ends that you can work yourself into. And, uh, this, I'm pretty darn sure is one of them, because, eh. yeah, yeah, this is, uh, well, it might still be possible to complete the game, but it won't give me the full score, so I'm going to end this Let's Play, and in the next video, I yell, uh, I'll redo this and not give the trident to the mermaid, and we'll continue from there. So, uh, thank you for watching, and <laughs> good night.